How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Addams Family, The Bodies Issue. Uh, this is a one-shot from IDW Comics, and in this one, uh, Wednesday is looking for a mysterious tome in The Addams Family Library and comes across something what she thinks is super disgusting and revolting, and that will be a teen magazine. And she'll be experimenting with the stuff inside the magazine, and will play with how the Adams react to it and how she interprets the articles. And it's fun and interesting enough. You get a lot of classic Adams Family style gags where what's nice they find repulsive and vice versa. And there are some funny moments, especially doing a comic book, you can be bigger and over the top, like, you know, the cover shows with the beehive and the alligators on the cover. You know, you can do some fun cartoonish stuff, and, and it's, you know, a fun book. It is kind of a standard Adams Family story, where one of the characters starts acting peculiar and the Adams react to it in a unique way, and we have kind of seen this done a few times, so it's not the the most novel concept ever, but there are a few jokes that I really liked and some ideas that definitely did land. So as a standalone one-shot, eh, why not? It's fun enough. I think this is tied into the universe of the animated movies just based on the art style, but hey, I always like to see more stuff with the Addams Family in it, and it seems like IDW is doing a series of one-shots, and I say, hey, why not? That should be fun. Uh, if you guys want to see me talk in a little bit more specifics, I'm going to switch to the close-up camera and I'll talk a bit more about the story and show you guys just a little taste of the art. I won't be doing any major spoilers and I'll try not to show too terribly much, but if you want to see me talk more in specifics, then let's go ahead and switch over to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at the Adams Family, the bodies issue. Bringing it close to the camera, I really do like seeing the little house inside of the A there. That's pretty cool. And we get the IDW logo, and we get that it's a one-shot. Um, now, there was an ad in the back of the book for the next one-shot, so I'm guessing they're doing a series of one-shots semi-regularly, but yeah, the next one is going to be about the marriage, and it's apparently going to be called Till Death. Uh, but anyway, this is the A cover there, and that's a pretty fun cover, just Wednesday pulling the rope to to set down the bees that Pugley's, Pugsley's using as a pinata, and just a bunch of fun little wacky shenanigans here. Uh, there are a few covers, including a, you know, the textless version of this cover, and we get a few other designs, and I'm glad that they not only put them in the back, but gave us full-size prints of them. You know, I always like to see all the covers. Anyway, um, the back of this one, we get 00111. 499 and I think this is a little bit thick and you know plus it's a an indie one shot 499's fair I guess uh, but we get this fun little pattern and actually a description of the book in the middle which I think is cool if you're gonna have a a back image you know DVDs books they all have descriptions on the back so that's uh fun as well and on the inside we get written by Zoe Quinn Pencils by Philip Murphy. And after that, uh, we have the issue proper. I won't be doing any major spoilers, but let's take a little bit of look at the art in the story and do a little bit of a review in more specifics. We get the Adams Family House right there, and we hear something going on inside. Cool classic opening. Uh... Gomez and Morticia are dancing and almost get crushed by the chandelier. And we have Wednesday and Pugsley playing Executioner. Now this is one thing with the Adams Family as far as like how dark and morbid do they go. I always wonder, you know, obviously Pugsley's going to be okay there. 
but it always is in the back of my head, you know, what if the, the guillotine just went off right and Wednesday just killed Pugsley right there? I, I think it's comical and fictional enough that they'd probably just sew his head back on Frankenstein style and he'd be okay. But yeah, I always, you, you gotta wonder with how far you push it. But the whole gag is there, it doesn't work because all their toys are too old and... It just apparently bounced right off his head or something. But that leads into Wednesday's Dilemma, and you get this fun walking through the portrait hall where she's talking about everything's getting too old and boring and mundane. And she's going to hear a story about an ancient family tome with dark secrets in it, which is going to inspire her to search the Adams Family Library and try to figure out what's going on, if there is something more to this life in this house. And we do get some fun gags, you know, too archaic, too fictional. Oh, hi, Uncle Solomon. So, yeah, so one of their family is somehow trapped in a book or something. Uh, but she comes across where Uncle Fester makes his ransom notes, again, a fun little gag there. And she happens to pick up this magazine. And I do like some of the jokes in the magazine. Uh, but yeah, this is the creepy old tome that she finds. It's not a haunted spell book. It's a pop culture magazine. And you get things like quiz. Who defines you? Will tell you. And which one of your girlfriends should you love and hate? You know, so... Yeah, kind of some biting pop culture stuff there. But Wednesday goes, this is appalling. It will be perfect to torment my family with. So it is kind of the standard old Adams Family gag where one of them starts acting relatively normal and they all get appalled. But we get how, you know, she'll do stuff. She'll misinterpret the magazine and get into some gag, but it always no one cares, you know. So liven up your wardrobe and she brings one of the furs back to life Morticia doesn't care see what's in his mind well Uncle Fester's out to lunch you know glowing skin let's use radiation and there's quite a few of those gags but none of the Adams family cares and they're all unbothered however she eventually goes too far down this route and Gomez and Morticia think it might be time to have a bit of a talk with her overall it's a fun enough book. There are quite a few gags and jokes. You know, the standard Adams Family, you know, we're being dark and creepy and, oh, no, she's being normal. I mean, we've seen that plot a few times, but there are some fun gags and some good ideas. And where it ultimately ends up with the real haunted tome, I thought that was a pretty fun idea. So, not the best thing ever, but a fun little side issue, and, you know, I enjoyed it. As a one-shot, yeah, why not? Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist at the bottom. How about my one-shots playlist, where you can see me talk about other one-shots? Anyway... Have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.